Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro One and Done Compound. I did a quick showcase, just snapshots of what it can do. Today, I wanna to show you everything it can do. We're gonna do a full correction using just this. We're gonna use pads from the cutting wool pad all the way down to the black finish pad or black application pad and actually everything in between, showing different pads and polishers. Hey, let's get right into the video. By the way, uh, just this video and one more from the Turtle Wax line, not trying to force them down your throat. I just have recorded footage from all three of these products in one shot, and I am releasing them all in one group. So we will move along shortly. Uh, after this video, I have the uh, To The Max Wax, a graphene-infused wax up against another professional, reputable brand, and then we'll move on. These videos are not sponsored. I'm just sharing my experience and what you do with that information is completely up to you. Today we're working on a new MKZ, just a few months old, but already after being run through the car wash almost on a daily basis, you can see the damage that has been caused. We're gonna start back here on the rear deck. And as we get some gloss unit measurements, we can see we're starting out rather low as the beam that's coming from the tool is refracting off of all those scratches before going back up into the machine, and we're getting some low recordings. We're going to turn that around, and we're going to shoot for, our, for a really high reading up around the triple digits if we can. I'm going to show the one and done teamed up with different types of pads and polishers. And we're gonna start with the rotary and a wool pad and really tackle those deep imperfections. This is a Lake Country hybrid blue wool pad and that's on the M550 Max Shine Rotary. And back here I've done some wet sanding. There are some real deep scratches. Just wanted to round those off a little bit, make them look a little bit more presentable. Everything on the, the vehicle's surface here will not be removed. We're not shaving it that clear. It's just starting out its life and we want to leave as much clear as possible. That is our goal. So let's get a couple drops, put it in the center of that wool pad and spread out the product and we'll start to work the area. We have the polisher between the third and the fourth speed setting nice and smooth fluid arm movements. With an impressive long cycle window, even using the rotary, you will have no dusting whatsoever. One and done seems to be user friendly through and through, and you can easily remove the residue. The light to moderate imperfections were completely removed. The heavier imperfections almost through or through the clear coat into the base coat were greatly improved. What's left behind is a little bit of hazing that can be easily remedied. That's left behind from the wool pad. It's a very aggressive pad. To straighten that out, you can keep using the rotary or you could switch over to a dual action polisher, your choice. Grab a nice soft polish pad. This one here is from Lake Country. We're gonna use the exact same correction fluid. This is the one and done. Again, you just need this and a few pads and you can get a lot accomplished. Now the imperfections are removed or improved, the hazing has also been corrected, 
And now that gorgeous base coat can shine through. This is a carbon flash uh, black paint job. And now that all those scratches are removed from it, it, uh, it can really shine through the clear coat now. I went ahead and finished the whole rear deck and you can see the improvement there. Let's move on to a different panel and a whole different set of circumstances and swirls to remove and we'll try some other combinations. Okay, now we're going to team up the one and done with one of my favorite pads, the Eurofiber 5050 pad. And this is going to be one of the most popular pads to team up with the formula just because of all of the work and the imperfections that you can remove with the team. Huge improvement and turnaround just with a few passes. This clear coat here is medium, leaning towards soft. It's a newer vehicle, and, and they're all going to be uh, in that category. So we're going to have to finish down. Unfortunately, the Air Fiber 5050 pad is not going to give you the best clarity when working on softer clear coat. You're going to have to grab uh, a soft polish or finish pad, and in some cases, even a black application pad would work. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. I went ahead and completed the hood. The, the imperfections are removed for the most part, leaving behind just a little bit of cloudiness. And that we can remove and clear up, still using the one and done, but just changing up the pad. And if you thought the first step looked good and was a huge improvement, you could see the second step brought out even more of that gorgeous base coat. The reflections on the finish are crisp and clear and to put some numbers behind what we're seeing so far, and this is after correction, before protection, Very, very impressive. Let's move on and try yet another combination. The rear bumper here will get a lot of pressure from the wraps in a tunnel wash. So you can see all the scratches and imperfections that we need to remove. We're gonna grab the Flex XFE three inch polisher and a foam pad that is a medium cut.
and with very little effort, this is the turnaround that you can achieve with the one and done. The entire rear passenger side quarter panel is complete and we need to hop over onto the door here. You can see all the imperfections and I'll show you yet another combination. This here happens to be the Lake Country pad that you can pick up as part of a kit with the one and done. So let me show you what it can do. This one step alone would make a lot of owners happy. You could apply your protection from here, or if you want to go further and get just a little bit more clarity, you can switch to the black application pad. We're not done yet. There are many types of substrates on the exterior of your automobile. This is one of them. These are the A pillars. Uh, you can find them sometimes on the A, B, and C pillars. It is a soft black panel finish, and the coat on the outside of that color is a lot softer than clear coat. You need to handle them with a bit more care. So with we're going back to the three inch polisher, and we're gonna get that medium cut and we're gonna be very careful. Sometimes you will notice some transfer back onto your pad that'll be like a black or a gray color. Some of the coatings uh, or the, the topper on that black panel finish has a little bit of pigment in it. Don't panic, that is natural, but you do wanna be careful not to use a lot of uh, speed and pressure, keep the heat down. The imperfections I was going after are removed, but it needs to be refined and cleared up. The pad was just a little bit too aggressive for that very soft finish, so we're gonna swap again over to a black application pad. And there you go. And that is what you could accomplish on your automobile uh, with just one correction fluid. Pick up a few pads, surround yourself with a few pads, and you'll be able to chase all the imperfections on your vehicle that you want to remove. So I just wanted to share my experience here with the one and done with you. What you do with that is completely up to you. If you're having problems uh, teaming up a pad with it to chase imperfections, maybe I can help. You can get a hold of me in the Facebook group or down in the comment section.
Okay, guys, that's going to bring us to the final thought segment of this video. The one and done here is taking over work that 3D1 used to do. It cuts the same but finishes down better, so it's a great substitute, and that's what we're using it for. Just match it up with the right pad. It can handle anything from cutting, cutting with a wool pad, all the way down to finish, finishing with a black application pad. That's practically jeweling, and everything in between. If you have any questions, if you're having trouble uh, teaming this up with something to go after uh, an imperfect uh, get a hold of me in the Facebook group or that link is down below uh, or down in the comments section or even email me and I'll help you out the best I can. Brian from Apex Detail, I'll catch you in the next video.